Hi, I'm Amy. I'm your TA for the course. We hope that these modules will help supplement the lectures to increase your visual expression skills. This will be the first of four visual expression modules. The goals of this first module are very modest and are intended to help you into the practice of good sketching techniques. While there are good digital tools for sketching available, most designers still work with a pen and paper much of the time. Quality hand sketching is a very important skill to have. We'll help you avoid some common pitfalls and learn how to make a clear sketch. Many of the common pitfalls can be addressed by these four simple guidelines, which are also requirements for submitting your homework assignments. We will briefly walk you through what we mean by each of these while showing some example sketches, and then we'll take you through it step by step. One, fill the frame. Two, use dark lines. Three, annotate where appropriate. And four, make sure your scan is of high quality. First, filling the frame. This allows you to emphasize more detail in your sketching. Filling the frame is also easier than drawing tiny thumbnail sketches, which are about the size of a postage stamp. The more you move your hand, the more free your drawing will be. Now, thumbnails might help you work out design details during your exploration phase, but they should not be submitted as your final sketch. Second, using dark lines. Here are two examples of the same sketch, one with light lines and one with dark lines. The one on the left was done in pencil, the one on the right was done in marker. You can see what a big difference using dark lines can make. It jumps off the page. This is a very effective and simple technique to emphasize your design intent and enable people to view your sketch from a distance. A good trick is to tape your sketch up on the wall, walk 10 paces away from it, and see how it looks. Let's try these two steps together. Suppose I have decided to design a high stool so that I can eat my breakfast at my kitchen counter and watch TV at the same time. I've started by taping down a piece of paper on my writing surface. Make sure you have a smooth, clean writing surface so you don't pick up anything underneath the paper. Taping it down is a good idea too, just to be sure it doesn't slide. The next thing I've done is I'm planning out on my paper where the stool's going to go. I know that I'll want to make some annotations, and I also know that I want to fill the frame, so I need to think about that. The next thing I do is draw some guidelines so I can figure out where the center of the stool is and how long the legs will be, and that make sure everything is aligned. I'm doing this sketch pretty roughly and pretty quickly for the purpose of this exercise, but it's okay if your sketches are rough too, as long as they communicate your design intent. I've decided to have a foot rest, so I'm going to think about where that goes. Again, we'll be tackling perspective in later modules. The next thing I want to do is I want to get a medium tip black marker. You can use any marker you'd like. I'm using a little bit thicker one for the purpose of this showing up. You may want to try a few out. Also, again, I'm doing this a little bit more quickly than I would. Be very careful because if you do mess up, you have to start the sketch over. Remember, design is an iterative process and you will draw your sketch many, many times. The next thing I'm going to do is think about my annotations. I think I want this stool to swivel since my TV is on the other side of the room. So I'm going to add some arrows to show movement where otherwise this form would not. I'm also going to write the word swivel. To make your annotations neat and clean, I suggest using a straight edge to mark some guidelines for yourself. This is how to do a really clear, crisp sketch. Annotations could be text, symbols, anything that helps communicate more that you want to in your drawing. And you notice I'm justifying it left vertically as well. Then I'll go ahead and draw some lettering to indicate the footrest. You'll want to do the lettering as neatly as possible probably practice in pencil first. You also may want to give the drawing a name because the person looking at it might not know what it is. It's nice also to add your names. And remember, it's okay to do it several times. When the ink is dried, which is usually pretty quickly, I'm going to take a white eraser, hold the paper down, and move the eraser in one direction, not back and forth, because your paper will crease and that will show up on your scan. Remember again, it's a representation of you, so make it neat and have fun. Now that you have a clear, crisp sketch, you want to make sure that when it's scanned, it still emphasizes your design intent in the digital format. Here are some guidelines to help you do that. Of course, make sure your scan is focused, ideally on a white background. Fill the frame, 
And remember that students will not be able to rotate your image once submitted, so please make sure it's oriented the way you'd like it to be. And we recommend the highest resolution possible while not raising the file size too much. A maximum of 1 to 2,000 pixels on the longest side is sufficient. Remember, you can also view the assignment submission guidelines under the course information page on the class website. Take a moment to read the following if you're using a scanner. On the next page, we'll give you some suggestions if you're not using a scanner. We don't expect that everyone will have access to a scanner. Here are some apps you can use and some guidelines for everyone. Please note that JPEG and PNG are the recommended file formats and the ones we accept. Again, remember that your sketch will be viewed exactly as you submit it, and the final result is an extension of you, so be sure it's of high quality. Okay, it's your turn. So this is the assignment for Visual Expression 1. It's also posted on the syllabus. You can draw any chair you like, and in the next Visual Expression module, we'll look at drawing multiple views of your chair. So remember, fill the frame, use dark lines, annotate where appropriate, make sure your scan is of high quality, and most importantly, have fun!